This is how it all starts for them. When babies are born, it brings joy to most parents and families. Their future is, however, that of uncertainty. Some end up well, whereas others go through a lot of challenges. As a result, some of them end up on the streets to survive. Begging, stealing and prostitution become a daily task for these children in order to make some money to survive. Some of these children have lived at least three years of their lives on the streets. My grandmother said she doesn't need me so that I should go to my mother's place. We sleep at 37 station. Uh, or we sleep at the gutter over there. That gutter over there. We sleep inside when it is dry. My parents are divorced. I was schooling, but my father had financial challenges, so I went to beg for money so I could write my exams. But my class teacher saw me and asked my friends to hoot at me. I became ashamed, so I stopped schooling. Around Roman Ridge and the Silver Star area in Accra, the children can make between 10 and 20 Ghana cities a day. On a lucky day, some receive between 20 and 50 Ghana cities at a go from private vehicle drivers. In all, one can make up to 70 Ghana cities on a good day. But what becomes of these monies that these children make? They end up in a local game house in the evening to play games. Meet Richard Adai Nimakon, an electrician and owner of the game house. Having realized that the children waste their monies, he decided to keep the monies for them. He, however, does not render accounts to anyone. They just misuse the money. That's why I gave them that advice to save some of the money. So it's like when they get something like 10 CDs, they bring me 5 CDs or 3 CDs to put it down for them. So that when it gets to somewhere 20, if they feel like buying some clothes, I give them money to go and buy the clothes. And I check on them to make sure they buy the clothes and they've bought to. Yeah, I have a record of keeping that. I have a small booklet which I've been writing. The acting director of the Department of Social Welfare, Samson Nee Treby, had this to say. I think that the, the children will have to be uh, educated on how to save their money with proper institutions. You know, there are banking institutions who even do daily susu. When night falls and everything goes to rest, the abode for these young ones is a nightmare. The question is, who is responsible for these children? Parents are primarily responsible for their children that they bring into the world. And then the state also provides uh, services for uh, the adequate care of children, like providing schools, basic schools, health facilities, where if a child is sick can be sent for you know, um, health care. So it's primary parents and then there's... Despite the odds, these children are hopeful of a bright future. As a new day is born, the cycle continues for these children whose future is that of uncertainty unless they get some kind of intervention.